In this video, I will be sharing with you everything you need to know about the innovation project for the first LEGO League Cargo Connect season, as well as a full guide to creating a successful innovation project for your FLL team to advance as far as possible in robotics competition. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video where I will share three very important tips to help your robotics team advance to a state, area, or maybe even a world championship. First things first, we need to understand what the Cargo Connect season is about and what kind of innovation project we will need to create. During the Cargo Connect season, we will be exploring the future of transportation while reimagining faster, more reliable, inclusive, and sustainable transportation innovations that better connect and grow communities and economies around the world. We will also explore ways of improving how we access and deliver needed and desired goods, making all communities more connected. Here are the five steps for creating an innovation project for this year's FLL season. The first step is to identify a specific problem related to making the transportation journey of products better. Think about how access, safety, efficiency, and connections relate to product journeys and see if you and your team can improve any of them for a particular product that you are investigating. The second step is to research your problem and your solution ideas. Research and ask questions. For example, what solutions already exist or maybe there are experts that could help us. Think about the products that are transported in and out of your community. You can maybe even research on the journeys products take to reach their final destinations. The third step will most likely take the most amount of time, but it's very important if you want to create a successful innovation project. This step is to design and create a new piece of technology, equipment, or method of transportation that could improve the journey of products. This will be your innovation project solution. You and your team will make a model or prototype to show how your solution will improve the way products are transported. The fourth step is also very important. This step is to share your ideas, collect feedback, and iterate on your solution. The more you iterate and develop your ideas, the more you will learn. Also, it's important during this step to consider what kind of impact your solution will have on your community. Keep in mind that a community can be as small as a town or a city, and can be as large as a state, territory, or even an entire country. And finally, the fifth and final step is to create a creative and effective presentation that communicates your solution at an event. You and your team will create a five minute presentation that will explain your innovation project solution and its impact on others. It's also important to make sure that your entire team is involved in your presentation. So before I share with you my bonus tips, I have a few quick tips and things to take into consideration when you're working on creating your innovation project. My first tip is to make sure you spend plenty of time during the researching phase of your project. You can trust me on this one because I've been to a state championship and one of the first questions we got asked during our innovation project judging session was on what kind of research we did specifically before we even came up with an innovation project idea. One other thing that most teams don't consider when doing research is to cite your sources. This is a very important thing which I would suggest adding into your presentation anytime that you are stating facts or simply anything that you found in your research. For example, according to about Amazon and right there we just cited our source, Amazon will have over 100,000 electric vans delivering customers packages by 2039. My second tip is to make sure everyone on your team is involved in the creation of your innovation project and your project presentation. And know that not everyone will want a speaking part, but that's totally okay. Just make sure they still have a role to play in your team's project presentation because after all, it's a team. And everyone on your first LEGO League team should be involved and learn about everything you do. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and if you liked it, be sure to give it one of these down there. And before you go, here are three bonus tips to advancing all the way to a first LEGO League championship. The first tip I have is for in your innovation project presentation, make sure you are very specific about the problem that your team is solving. My second tip is to have plenty of research done before coming up with your project solution, which overall will make it way easier to come up with that initial solution. And the amount of research you did is something that they'll look at at tournaments too, at least from my own experience. And my third and final tip for you guys is to share your innovation project solution with as many people as possible. Because like I said before, the more you iterate and develop your ideas, the more you will learn. And this will help your innovation project to be even better. And of course, we'll make it fun, which is one of our first LEGO League core values. 
And once again, please consider subscribing and thanks for watching.